Happy Tuesday, everyone. We're back at Andrew's Collectibles here with another thrift shop haul review video. Today we are covering everything we found in the past week going through our local thrift shops. The majority of this stuff was found today for about 35 bucks. So I would say everything but the couple of Transformers and a couple of the figures were all found today for 35 bucks at one of our local thrift shops. So you know I'm not lying. That is the total from today's trip with tax and that is today's date. So we're gonna go um, left to right, right to left, kind of cover everything and uh, and show you guys what we found. We found all these Power Rangers. These are from the early 90s, uh, 93 to 95. Got the Zords with them as well. Now the Zords don't transform, but that's okay. Came in a bag with these guys. So we were pretty happy about that. Found they do work and they did have their swords. So we picked them up. Also, we came across um, the movie version Raphael. And then uh, Fox is Peter Pan and the Pirates, which was uh, like obscure cartoon from the 90s. That's Captain Hook. You get a good look at him. He looks nothing like Captain Hook should look, but I mean, they went different for the series. He's missing his hat and his cape, but he's still in pretty good shape. We got the double dragon, uh, Billy Lee and Jimmy Lee. They are in pretty good shape, as you can see there. And uh, we picked up Commander Riker from Star Trek. We picked up these G.I. Joe. Uh, this is not G.I. Joe. This is Leonard the Cork. And it looks like, you know, he's okay. But these are the ones why I grabbed the bag. We got Johnny Cage and Sub-Zero. So those are a good piece. And I don't have those for my collection yet. So I'm glad I picked them up. Because, I mean, they go for about 10 15 bucks on eBay. And they came in a bag where I think four figures like these guys were for $2.99. We got um, trans or mutating. I don't want to say transforming. Trans, uh, mutating Bebop. So the thing about this character is he transforms into his human mode, but the reason I have him in his warthog mode is the placement of his tail. Okay, so I'm going to pop it out so you can see it. Now, I'm putting under the light for you. That is a really messed up looking tail, one, and the way they put it makes it look highly inappropriate. So, we're going to skip on to the next part. We got one of the characters from Reboot. That's Enzo and a Lionel figure. Both are missing parts. Um, Enzo's missing his head or his top of his head and Lionel's missing his hand. We got the Monstars, Sean Bradley. Uh, we're pretty happy about that because Space Jam is obviously a good movie. And he's a cool piece to have. Conversation starter. Got the two Riddlers. One is from the late 80s. One is from the early 90s. Um, animated series Riddler versus like traditional DC Riddler. Then we got these guys over here, Carnage, Spawn, and a little mini Spider-Man with the Wolverine. They came in a bag with this Ultimate Marvel Legends Beetle, which is the reason why we grabbed the bag for it. It was five characters for five bucks, so just getting him was a nice score. The real Ghostbusters Frankenstein, and he was like in a bag all by himself for, I think, a dollar. So grabbed him because he can go with the rest of our Ghostbusters guys over there. And then we got the Beyblade Battle Arena. The reason we picked that up is it was $4 and we flipped those for 20, 25 bucks on eBay just to kind of get rid of them and buy more figures. So then you can see we got some Transformers there. We got Optimus Prime. We got uh, Dirt Boss and Sideswipe. And we don't, I can't remember for the life of me who this figure is. So if you know, let me know. I'll get, a, get in close on them. And then the last things we found are these two guys. And I didn't know offhand what they were from but i remember watching them on a cartoon so i bought them anyway and then i came home and googled it so that's lawrence limberger from biker mice from mars and dr carbuncle so they're pretty cool right so like early 90s sweet cartoon by the way so this is everything that we found obviously it's worth more than 40 dollars right so if you guys like the videos like comment subscribe shoot me any feedback on what you want to see and I hope you guys enjoyed our thrift shop haul review. Have a great day.